What's going on, you guys? I seen where box fans is pretty upset at the fact that Adrian, the problem Brona, is now with Black Prime. I'm not sure if it's Black Prime, but we gonna call it Black Prime, right? And salute to Broner, right? Salute to AB for securing a three fight deal, twelve month three fight deal, eight figures, right? AB about billions about boxing, about business, right? He's now a stablemate with Terrence Bud Crawford under the Black Prime banner. What does this mean? What does this mean? Will guys like Tank Davis be following suit once they see these guys? Guys like Broner, who hasn't been the most active guy, guy we haven't seen in quite some time, come out of nowhere and get an eight-figure payday. This guy to pique the interest of guys like Javante Tank Davis, Errol Spence Jr., and others that's over there on the PBC banner sitting on the shelf. Boxer fans is attacking Broner for his decision. But Broner made the decision that he felt was best for him, right? Same as Terrence Crawford. Now, Terrence Crawford receiving heat. Um, they blaming Bud for the Spence fight, but in reality... These same guys know that this fight wasn't happening until 2023 anyway. They're more mad at Crawford than they are at Floyd Mayweather, the guy that's supposed to be really making things happen, right? Floyd Heyman. But Adrian Broner signs with Black Prime with Terrence Crawford. It's also looking like Brian Norman's over there as well. And I'm, I'm expecting a lot more fighters will be looking to do business with Black Prime. Blue Blood Sports TV is also in business with these guys. So salute to Blue Blood, man. These brothers making moves out here. These brothers making moves out here and a lot of people is mad about it. Mad for what? Mad for what? Adrian Broner told us what has been going on with Showtime, PBC. He's been telling us for a while now, but nobody wanted to listen. Nobody wanted to hear him. Why? Because he's AB. But AB made the move, right? He made the move, a big move. AB is one of the PBC's originals. He's one of Showtime's originals. And now he's elsewhere. I have a feeling that a lot of people hope these guys fail. I have a feeling that a lot of people hope these guys really not getting these eight figure paydays. I'm so happy for these dudes. I'm happy for Terrence Crawford. And I'm happy for Adrian and Problem Broner. Right? Because both guys don't got too much more time left in the sport of boxing. And unfortunately, unfortunately for them, Black Prime came on the scene. And drop the bag on the table for these guys to put on the show. Adrian Broner says Black Prime is going to take over boxing. Total contrast from what Broner was saying some years ago back at PBC's peak, Showtime's peak. Total contrast. Some people are even saying that Terrence Crawford robbed Errol Spence of his legacy. Nah, nah, he didn't do that. PBC robbed Errol Spence of his legacy. PBC, Al Heyman, and the powers that be should have made that fight with Terrence Crawford in 2022, November 19th, for Errol Spence Jr. But they didn't. Whatever the case may be, whatever may have happened, everything has been hearsay. Terrence Crawford's opponent, manager, came out and said that Crawford got tired of waiting. It was a quick question do you want to fight yes or no they got 24 hours to respond they said yes we're going for a broke so boxing fans should be excited to see Crawford fight in December right Errol Spence is allegedly going to be fighting Stan Jonas. we'll see what happens there but it's not looking good for Showtime PBC if I'm honest it's not Deontay DeBron's bomber Wilder. Deontay Wilder and Robert Hellenius allegedly only did 75,000 buys. Deontay Wilder. 75,000 buys. See, nobody's talking about that. It's taboo to talk about that. But in reality, we all know, and even the bronze bomber himself knows, that that fight should have been on regular TV for the world to see. It should have been on regular TV for the world to see. But guess what? PBC don't got the money to pay Deontay Wilder the money that he's worth now. They don't got it. So they got to put it on pay-per-view. 
It's a fight that really shouldn't have been on pay-per-view, but it was. And then it did 75,000 buys. And it's hard to ask fans to pay for, like, let's say Wilder. Wilder's a guy that can end a fight at any time, in the first second of the first round. He's the type of guy that you're going to have to have a lot of money for because his fights, man, <laughs> it ain't going to be no show. It's not going to be a show. He, he's getting these guys up out of there early, but they put it on pay-per-view anyway. And they, they, they knew it was going to flop. Maybe they was banging on Wilder's um, star power, but in reality, man, boxing fans want to see quality named matchups if they're going to pay their hard-earned money for it. That's the reality of it. I think the, I think the jig is up. I think the jig is up, man. You know, when Adrian Broner making this move, this is huge. This is huge. Because we know AB been loyal to PBC and Al Heyman for years. Even though he has been coming out, kind of speaking out on certain things over the, over the years. Um, he's always been loyal to Showtime and PBC. But at, at, at a certain point, a man got to make his own decisions. And now I'm looking at guys like Javante Tank Davis. Errol Spence Jr., Keith One Time Thurman. I'm looking at those guys. What are you guys going to do? What are you guys going to do? Right? Because these guys over here on Black Prime is giving Terrence Bud Crawford and Adrian Broner career high paydays. Guaranteed. Crawford's getting a pay per view fight, hometown fight, $40 pay per view fight. Right? $40 pay per view. It's very affordable. Everybody got two twenties in their pocket, right? But fans are upset about it. Why? You should be more mad at the fact that PBC didn't make that fight with Spence. Now nah, we can just go blame Bud because we loyal to PBC. But PBC ain't showing you the same type of loyalty by making a black fight in boxing, the biggest, most intriguing black fight in boxing. And but because since it didn't happen, we go blame Terrence Crawford. Floyd Mayweather told us two weeks ago it wasn't happening. Y'all weren't even that mad at him. Y'all didn't say nothing. But once Crawford came out with his fight, when he told us he was going to fight this year with or without Spence, he's going to fight. He got to fight. Fans want to blame Bud. Instead of being happy for Bud and Broner, who have a lot of mouths to feed, y'all mad at him. Y'all hope it don't work out for him. Y'all hope this paydays, y'all hope, hope Black Prime fails. Yeah, I get it. Uh -huh, I see the vibes. Y'all hope Black Prime fails just so you can laugh at these brothers for making a move that they felt they needed to make. Shame on you. Shame on you, boxing fans, bro. And that's why I went off on my live stream earlier. Check out the live stream. It's probably one of the best live streams that wasn't a post-fight reaction on the channel yet. Check out that live stream if you ain't see it. But I'm happy for Adrian Broner. I'm happy for Terrence Bud Crawford. And with Terrence Crawford, as long as he gets past Ivory region with no problems, we should go into this fight in 2023 with Errol Spence. As long as Errol Spence gets past Stanionis, if that's what's next for him, we should be looking forward to the fight in 2023. If PBC can't make the fight, maybe Black Prime can make the fight. I'm happy for Adrian Broner. I hope this motivates him to let them hands go. I really hope this motivates him to really let them hands go and put on the show. Because that's what Adrian Broner is known for, for, putting on the show. As long as he lets his hands go, we go get a show from AB. I wonder who's next for Black Prime. Tank Davis was down there in Florida, as I spoke earlier about in the live stream. He was in Florida. So you sure, you best be sure that he was talking to his big bro AB about what's the next move for him. AB was telling him, look, man, I might be on Black Prime, bro. You might want to come over here, man. They'll put the money in front of you. And we know Tank Davis is a hot commodity in boxing. Right? We know these guys at Black Prime probably got a lot of money in the vault for these guys to come over there and perform on their platform. Errol Spence Jr., if PBC not making this fight with Crawford a reality, what you go do, bro? Maybe you should holler at Blue Blood and Black Prime. Right? Seems like a lot of people turn on Blue Blood, too. This whole Black Prime thing is going to be Black Prime versus PBC now. A lot of people want Black Prime to fail. I, can, I get those type of vibes from it. 
I get those vibes that they want that 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 platform to fail. They don't want Crawford or Broner to get these paydays. I'm happy for these dudes. Super happy. Because for me, it's about the fighters. These these suits, they don't go home with headaches and bruises, stomach hurting and shit. Nah, they don't get to go home on Saturday nights after a fight. They get to go home with their bank accounts fresh and they they, they faculty faculties intact. So I'm not worried about them in the slightest. Right? They ain't got medical bills to pay because of some lingering injuries or some mental issues or the CTE and all this other stuff. They don't have to deal with any of that. The fighters do. I'm happy and proud of Adrian Broner and Terrence Crawford for making the best decision for them and their families, period. Now, as long as we get this fight with Spence in 2023, as long as nothing happened to prevent the fight, we should be fine, right? So, yeah, you guys, um, be sure to check out that last stream from earlier. It was a really good stream. Um, it, was a, it was a panel discussion as well on the stream. Um, really, really good uh, points made by from both sides. And, yeah, man, I'm looking at Errol Spence, man. What you go do, bro? What you go do? Like, subscribe, hot your boy. Peace out.